you guys. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit more um, relaxed, something less formal. I uh, put out a couple of scripted videos for you guys, and I really like to get into that place where I can just kind of flow with my thoughts and put it down on paper, and I like to do research while I'm doing these scripted uh, videos and stuff. But I do have a lot of great flows of thought that I don't think always get expressed in those um, scripted videos. So I really wanted to touch back on the video that I did um, last week, or I don't know when you'll be watching this, but on a video that I did previous to this. And um, it was talking about controlling your chemical processes in your body and how you're being affected by your media, basically. And that can be your television, your social media, video games, music, you name it. We are allowing ourselves into a certain frequency. We are falling into certain brain patterns when we are watching or listening or scrolling through our social media. And depending on how entranced we become with that, you know, will kind of determine how far down on that brainwave pattern will get. You know, you could be in theta picking up a whole bunch of subconscious things. And we talk about children as they're growing, they go through the phases of the brainwave patterns. I don't want to misspeak, so I'm going to put that age group on the screen for you guys. But uh, depending on the age group they're in, they're moving through different uh, brainwave patterns. So the younger children are going through like theta. And so they're in a very kind of, they're in a slower brainwave pattern, a more wide open brainwave pattern. And they are learning about everything in their environment. They are learning about people and interacting with the world around them. And so this is a very programmable state, if you think about it. And it's also a state of mind that people try to reach when they go into meditation. In alpha, it's a very neutral state. And so as a child grows, they move into alpha. And in alpha, they are a little bit more of a neutral state, still being very much programmed for the world around them. And then they move into beta state, which is starting to realize their own um place in this world and being able to interact with the world and being able to make judgments and having an opinion and things of that nature. But they are still being kind of programmed because they are moving in and out of gamma and theta still in this, you know, teenage group that I may have posted up here on the um, graphic. So if you relate that to like how children's minds develop and you understand that we are really programming ourselves in these brainwave patterns, even as children or in meditation, you name it, then I guess it's very plain to see how you could be being programmed by simply staring at the TV or scrolling through your social media. And to take that one step further, we did find a US patent for uh, set up with a television that resonates at a very low frequency, which helps to bring you into that theta state or to bring you into the alpha state, you know, whichever is attainable. And either state, I believe, is very, very programmable. And I would probably venture to say your theta state's more programmable because look at how much a child develops while their brain patterns are in theta. So, um, so knowing this, you know that there's something going on here that's, you know, programming your mind. It's doing it for you. You're not programming what you want into your mind unless you take control over that. And you take control over how much time you spend in that state of mind. And if you're going to be programming yourself, why not program yourself with things that are beneficial to you? When you're putting yourself in that state of mind, be careful of what you're allowing in because it's during that time when we just start to get wooed into ideas and concepts that maybe we don't even know why. We Maybe we don't really have the understanding as to why we think or believe a certain way. And it might very well be that we've just kind of been programmed to do that. Now, why would anyone want to do that? Why, why would they want to program us? Well, for money, you know, like 
it always comes down to power and money. And if you want another example of that, let's think about pharmaceuticals. Oh my goodness, you guys. Pharmaceutical companies will put these ads. I've been watching them for years. I've been watching them, but lately they've been really, they've been really in your face. They'll name the symptoms. They'll tell you that you have it. They'll tell you that you have a need for their product and they'll tell you to go out and get it from your doctor pretty scary stuff. And so I really like, I try not to, I like, I'm like, la 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 la, whenever those commercials come on, because I don't want to be receptive to the idea that there's anything wrong with my perfect body and my perfect frequency. You understand? And so you want to, you know, just kind of keep that frequency good and not allow stuff like that to encroach. And it's just silly little stuff that you might think to be insignificant as insignificant as a pharmaceutical commercial coming on tv do they drive other concepts and, and ideas like do they create more drug addiction by saying that there's a problem with it by you know putting out commercials to our youth and suggesting that there be a problem in the first place you know what i mean it's things like that that are getting put into our subconscious belief systems and again we're not in the gamma state we're not i'm sorry we're not in the beta state we're not in a, a state of mind where we're able to receive that or pick up on it you know we're just kind of unknowingly going about things and a lot of our lives it's really easy to just kind of be in a in a alpha state you know and going around kind of in neutral and not really being direct about where it is you're going, what it is you're doing, what it is you're saying, thinking, you know. And so I feel like it's very important for everyone to be mindful of your thoughts, be mindful of what is being processed through your subconsciousness. And there is a such thing, folks, as um, subliminal messages that can be placed in videos. Be really careful about some of these videos that suggest, you know, oh, we're going to do sleep for hours and hours. Um, I wouldn't do that with someone you don't trust. So if you know the creator and you feel like you can trust them, then super go for it. But if it's something that you don't know and you, you, don't, you know, get a feel for it. And uh, if it doesn't seem right, don't do it. And I think that's not nearly the threat that you face on a daily basis, which is you listening to the radio, watching TV, scrolling through your social media. Now, with regard to video games, video games are really powerful tool for us to become sharper, to be focused, to keep our minds active, and, and even to lengthen our telomeres. On the other hand of that, the type of video game that is being played is vital. So when it comes to uh, games where there's a lot of the um, thrill, you know, and loud noises and loud shots, the uh, shooting games and stuff like that are keeping um, you in a fight or flight state even though you may not realize it and it feels good and everything, you're in a fight or flight kind of energy and those chemicals are being processed in your body. And what it does is it makes you insensitive to situations that would call for fight or flight and oversensitive to situations that don't call for fight or flight. So it kind of switches around the, the clock on you and it, it might make you feel anxiety, depression, and things in your regular life, maybe when you go out in public and things like that, versus playing that video game and getting that actual fight or flight um, chemical you know, shot into your system, you've just become very insensitive to that chemical, you know? And then when it's, when it's needed, you might not get that shock when you really need it. And the bigger problem is having the anxiety in situations where that fight or flight isn't really called for, you know? And so you have all that fight or flight chemicals running through your body all the time. And guess what? That also makes a person more susceptible to subliminal ideas and concepts and things that are put into our television and music and our media and things that we don't want to resonate with. Now, another point to all this is if you follow the channel and you watch the videos, I've been trying to kind of lay out a picture here so that y'all could 
understand that how the tree was created you know and, and where the roots are you know and so you really should check out some of my other videos about frequency and the living matrix and um, ones that explained a little bit about the quantum physics involved in the thought processes that are here and um, I think understanding that really helps you to bring it into reality because it, it is something that can be scientifically explained and it's something that we can get a handle on by simply recognizing it, acknowledging it, and making changes that put us in a better um, frequency. Knowledge is power. And knowing what you're dealing with gives you a whole lot of power over how you can move forward in the future. And I do think that, you know, with regard to the condition of our world, I feel like they promote an idea of fear that keeps us in that state you guys we have to believe that there's something better and that there's something better for the future so you guys need to go back and watch my um i have a video out there about the pluto generation so be sure and watch that because that'll help to ease your mind in the direction in which we're going but what we're experiencing right now is a real influx of energy that's kind of tearing down the structures that previous generations have created and these are structures that no longer serve us and when I say that I say you know we have created a system that we are becoming enslaved to and we need to be able to control the system and so right now is such an exciting time and we are moving into even more exciting times as we get to watch humanity flourish and overcome the things that we've created for ourselves and the shackles that we've put ourselves in we're about to witness over the next 20 to 60 years you know these generations that are coming up we're going to witness some really amazing things with humanity but when it comes to this energy and specifically the pluto energy there's going to be upheaval because that's what pluto does he blows it up and then allows it to come back together in a better way so there's so much to look forward to in the future be mindful of what you're allowing into your mind when you're in that alpha and theta state folks and take control of the things and start programming your mind in the way that you want your mind to respond all right and we'll do more videos about programming your mind and, and getting yourself in the right direction and all that good stuff in the near future i just kind of work with this um, as it comes up and so right now we're working on you know looking at the pluto generations is where i'm at in this process but i have a list a mile long of things that i really want to talk to you guys about i'm super excited about the future even though it's so scary it's exciting so keep your thoughts clear and always keep your mind aware don't let anything lull you off and not pay attention to what's really going on be sure to hit subscribe and uh Hit that all notifications button there, that bell, and click all notifications so that you can get notified when I do release new videos. And share the video with your friends and family and help spread the word. All right, guys? I wish you all the very best. Take care.